Hello everyone, it's Teacher She. Today, we are going to discuss about converting fractions to decimals. Again, let us use the place value chart. The decimal point will be here. At the left side of the decimal is the whole number. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. At the right side of the decimal is a fraction part. So, 1 over 10, 1 over 100, 1 over 1000, and so on. Did you know that it is easy to convert fraction to decimal if it has a denominator of 10, 100, or 1000? For example, is 7 over 10. If we write it in the place value chart, it will be 0 0.7 because 7 is found in the 10th place. So therefore, 7 over 10 is equal to 0 0.7. Easy, right? Another one is 9 over 10. So it is found in place value chart as this. Therefore, 9 over 10 is equal to 0 0.9. Next is 13 over 100. So 13 over 100 is found in the place value chart like this. So therefore, 13 over 100 is equal to 0 0.13. Another example is 143 over 1000. So we can found this fraction in place value chart as this. So therefore, 143 over 1000 is equal to 0 0.143. What if the denominator of our fraction is not 10, 100, or 1000? For example, is 1 half, 3 fourth, 2 fifth or 2 over 5, 7 over 20, and 3 over 25. So make a new equivalent fraction with a base 10 denominator. How? Let's have 1 half as an example. We are going to multiply a number to the denominator to make a base 10 denominator. So what number you will multiply to 2 to have 10 as a denominator? Yes, 5. So 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Therefore, our denominator is 10. Now, how about the numerator? So what you are going to do is multiply the numerator which is 1 with the number that you multiply in the denominator. So that is 5. So again, kung ano yung minultiply mo sa denominator, yun din po ang multiply mo sa numerator. So, 1 times 5 is equal to 5. So it will become 5 over 10. Now, we can easily convert 5 over 10 to decimal. Therefore, 1 half or 5 over 10 is equal to 0 0.5. Next example is 3 over 4. Again, find a number that you can multiply the denominator to make a new equivalent fraction. As you can see, we can't find a number that if you multiply by 4, the answer is 10. So think a bigger number. How about 100? What number you have to multiply to 4 to make it 100? Yes, 25. So, 4 times 25 is equal to 100. Now, to get the numerator, multiply 3 by 25. So, it will become 75. Therefore, 3 fourth is now 75 over 100. Now, it can easily converted to decimal. So, 3 over 4 
or 75 over 100 is equal to 0 0.75. Another one is 2 over 5. So multiply 5 by 2, so it will become 10. And 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So therefore, 2 over 5 is now 4 over 10. Therefore, if we are going to convert it to decimal, 4 over 10 will become 0 0.4. Next example is 7 over 20. So make an equivalent fraction. So we multiply 20 by 5 to get the denominator of 100. Then multiply 7 by 5 and it will become 35. And 7 over 20 is now 35 over 100. And if we convert it to decimals, the answer will be 0 0.35. Next is 3 over 25. So multiply 25 by 4 to make an equivalent fraction. So 25 times 4 is equal to 100. Then multiply 3 by 4. And the answer is 12. Now, we have 12 over 100. And 12 over 100 is equal to 0 0.12 in decimal. How about if we have mixed number? So first, we write 8 in here. Make 20 to become a base 10 denominator or to make it 100 as a denominator. So, we multiply 20 by 5, so it will become 100. And also, you are going to multiply 3 by 5, so it will become 15. Now, 8 and 3 over 20 is equal to 8 and 15 over 100. And 8 and 15 over 100 is equal to 8.15 in decimal. So, ito lang ang dapat natin tandaan kapag nagko-convert tayo ng fraction to decimals. Kapag ang kanyang denominator ay nasa 10, 100, or 1,000, check nyo lang po ang kanyang numerator. Always remember, for example, sa number 1 na to, 7 over 10, ibig sabihin, ang 7 ay nasa 10th place. Okay, so yun lang lagi, i-recall nyo lang lagi sa mind nyo yung mga place value. So, pag sinabing natin 7 over 10, yung 7 ay nasa 10th place. Next is 9 over 10. Ang 9 daw ay nasa 10th place. Okay, next is 13 over 100. Ang 13 ay nasa 100th place. Okay, then next is 143 over 1,000. Ang 143 daw ay nasa 1,000 place. So, kapag sinulat mo siya, kung napapansin nyo sa answer natin, para lang natin kinopya yung nasa numerator. Okay, and then ginawa lang natin siyang decimal point. And if the denominator of our fraction is not 10, 100, or 1,000, katulad ng mga binigay kong examples kanina, Make a new equivalent fraction with a base 10 denominator. So, lagi nating tatandaan na kapag hindi 10, 100, or 1,000 ang denominator ng ating fraction, gagawa tayo ng equivalent fraction. So, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, maghahanap ka ng number na multiply mo sa denominator para maging 10, 100, or 1,000 siya para mas madali natin siyang ma-convert sa decimal. Now, what if we have a fraction wherein we can't make a base 10 denominator? For example, is 3 over 8. As you can see, the denominator is not 10, 100, or 1,000. And also, the denominator, we can't multiply it to any number to make it 10 or 100. Now, Let's understand it further. 3 over 8 is also the same with 3 divided by 8. If we use the calculator, 3 divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.375. What if, if we don't have 
calculators. Or maybe you are not allowed to use calculator. Now, you can use the long division or short division. So, let's try it. 3 over 8 or 3 divided by 8, the answer is 0 0.375. Now, let us use the long division. 3 divided by 8. We cannot divide 3 by 8. So, write 0 in here. Add decimal point to the answer and also to the given inside the radical. Now, add 0 so it will become 30. And 30 divided by 8 is equal to 3. And 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Subtract 30 and 24 and the answer is 6. 6 divided by 8 cannot be. So add 0, bring down 0. So it will become 60. 60 divided by 8 is equal to 7. Then 7 times 8 is equal to 56. Now subtract 60 and 56. And you will get 4 as an answer. Again, add 0 to make 4 become 40. And 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. So 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. So the answer is 0 0.375. Therefore, 3 over 8 is equal to 0 0.375 in decimal. So always remember, if you can convert a fraction using the place value chart, make an equivalent fractions. And if a given fraction is not also easily converted using place value chart and cannot be converted to an equivalent fraction, you can use the long division to convert it in decimals. So, that's all for today. Next lesson, operation on rational numbers. Thank you for watching.